Natalia. Welcome to my channel, guys. For those of you that are new, a warm, 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 warm welcome. A warm welcome, guys. I'm Fabo Happiness for the new ones and for my old and returning subscribers. You guys know how we do it. Buzza, buzza, and buzza, guys. Today's topic. I'm a bad one. Guys, why do I say bad one? Bad one because um, you guys know today's topic again is part two of Chidema, the 21 years old girl that killed um, her sugar daddy. And um, I've heard a lot, I've watched a lot of um, um, videos concerning her. And I'm here to talk about her again today because um, I think I will start talking about um, drugs too to um, the people out there because um, I tried to reach out one some few teenagers and they told me their own side. They told me what is going on in Nigeria and how they wish and hope it will change. Guys, we all know that this generation now, uh, they have, um, I would say, they are privileged i would say they are lucky in a kind of way but um in the true sense they are favored they have a lot of things that we could not say um, we, we did not have in our own time they have a lot of things that um, they have a lot of things that in our own time we could not even wish we only wish for that we dream about that but uh, we couldn't have them because our parents could not afford it but then most of them they have because these parents these days we go to extreme miles to satisfy our children we go to extreme miles to make them happy to give them the best and most of them sake of that because they are not struggling because they are not working because they don't have responsibilities because they don't have what uh, we called um how will i put it what we call them you know that train that way that way we they raise us our, our parents raise us with hard hand they don't have it we as a parents we raise them we are raising them with soft hand if they say they need this we'll give it to them if they say they need that we'll give it to them thinking that because of what we have went through when we were little when we were small because of that we don't want our children to go through that but we forget that that is the way the way that our parents raise us was the best i know some parents went to extreme miles some parents did a lot of things that are bad some parents did you know out of uh, annoyance out of ignorance out of um the way they train them to custom and all that tradition and all that they went too far some of them instead of them to bring their kids close to them some of them drove their kids away i remember that time when you get pregnant instead of your mom to bring you in and lecture you teach you tell you maybe what you did is bad but she will forgive you and show you the right way your mom or dad your parents will send you out of the house as a teenager some kids even when they were 12 years they were already sent out of the house just like chidima i had her, her upbringing is not the right way they didn't bring her up in the right way and look at what it has cost to her look at the fault look at the problem that it has caused most of our parents sending our kids our loved ones out of the house because of we think that is the right way to discipline a kid that is the right way to di discipline a child it is wrong we should say no to such kind of act we should we should say no to such kind of behavior from our parents okay guys just what i just like what i said the title of this video is drug again drug 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 say no to drugs say no to drugs i'm talking to our youth out there just like the youth the teenagers the ones that, that have been calling me my advice for them is for them not to engage themselves with drugs it's for them not to engage yourself with sleeping pills because even tramadol even uh, in nigeria they call it the cough which is cough medicine they are using it to make themselves to feel good 
without knowing that excess of those things are drugs abuse excess of those things are overdose you over you're taking overdose and once you take it you want to take more you want to take more and you will not get to that place that you want to get to never because it will never satisfy you the only person that can satisfy you is jesus christ they should run to christ youth these days teenagers these days they should run to christ learn how to read your bible more learn how to go on your knees and pray to god drugs is not the answer what happened to chidima as young as she is her life has been chattered her life has her life has been chattered her life is gone she will spend most of her life if they will not give her death penalty she will spend most of her life in prison and you guys know how nigerian prison is 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 is, is hell here in heaven <laughs> excuse me is hell here on earth nigerian prison is hell here on earth i even think maybe it's even worse than hell because a lot of people that have been there for what they have said that uh, Nigerian prison, you will see hundreds of people in a small room squatting, squeezing their self and all that. I know right now, Chidima, she's regretting. Even now that she's in the cell, she cannot take drugs. Chidima, you cannot take drugs anymore, right? You cannot smoke. Most of these are youths and young teenagers. They think smoking is like... Just like what I said in the other of my video, it's cool. It's not cool. Smoking is not cool. If your mom is that type that is smoking or your dad, your mom is that type that is taking hard drug or your dad, please don't follow their full step. Your life is your life. You have the choice to make a choice. You have the chance to make a choice. You have the choice to make your own choice. To make your own life and say, I don't want to live like my dad because he's drug addict. I don't want to live like my mom because he's drug she's drug addict. I don't want to be a chain smoker because smokes kills most of your organs. I want to be better. I want to be better. So guys, Chidima, I would say one thing about her again. Chidima, what she did is bad. But right now, this whole Chidima saga have turned to, have taken us to another dimension. It has gotten to another dimension. Dimension in the sense that even the president's wife now, the president's wife is involved. A lot of prominent men are involved. They are all, is all over in Nigeria, all over the world, the news, even House of Assembly. <laughs> Oh boy, now that one I fear me pass. Chidima is not a superstar. House of Assembly, that even when they killed Boko Haram, are killing, killing people like animals. They did not do anything. Chidima own case that she killed one person. If she's the one that killed her, because I cannot tell that one person died. The whole world, the whole Nigeria is shaking. Everybody is being, because he's a rich man. If he's a poor man, will anybody wants to even talk? They will not want to talk, guys. Please, we should all say no to drugs. No, no, no to drugs. And please, I am coming to the end of this video, guys. And I want to tell you guys one thing. Please, drug is not the answer of depression. Drug will not stop you from being, from having depression, from having anxiety and all that. It will not. It will only cool you for a while and it will worsen you. What will rescue you from that? What will save you from that is Jesus Christ. It's the Bible. It's the word of God. So guys, as I want to end this video right now, I will say for those of you that are new that are just coming by if this is your first time of watching my video even for those of you that are old I will forget to hit the subscribe button please help me to hit the subscribe button subscribe like and share and comment tell me your own side I want to know more okay guys so we'll end this video right now ciao ciao